Hi, it's just to talk about Blue PK and computer training. In this video, we're looking at the forecast function in Excel. Here's my scenario. I've basically got the last sort of five days, I've recorded the top temperature for that day and the number of ice cream sold. What I want to be able to do is use this data so that I can predict, say I wake up and I know the temperature is going to be 30 degrees. I want to better predict how many ice creams I'm going to sell so I can get all my stock ready. Now, let's just see how the forecast function works. It has three arguments, X, known Y's and known X's. X and Y, really this relates to a kind of graph. So we've got our X coordinates and our Y coordinates, our X axis and our Y axis. I've drawn a little chart so that you can see what the forecast function is going to do. Basically, it's going to forecast using a linear projection. And I've put in a linear trend line on the data input here, graphed here. So if I have a temperature of 30, that would be my X. My known Ys are going to be my ice cream sales and my known X's are going to be my temperature. Close the bracket, press enter. And it tells me I'm going to sell 939 ice creams. Now that lies quite nicely between 28 and 32. I can see that that's forecasted quite nicely. But you do get some surprising results. For example, if I put in 22, at 22 degrees, it looks though I'm selling less ice creams than I do at 21 degrees. And to understand that, we need to look at our trend line that goes through our data. So we can see at 21 degrees, we were selling um, 670. But if you look at our trend line, if we take 22 degrees, you can see that the trend line actually falls beneath that sales value. So the values you're getting here are basically on this trend line. And I forecast that backwards and forwards. So for example, if we went down to 15 degrees, you can see that we're selling 407, which is exactly there. And if we were at 35 degrees, we'd be selling 1,116 ice creams and you can see that value there. Okay, so that's how the forecast for function works in Excel. It's Chester Tuggle at Blue PK and Computer Trading. Hopefully that's been helpful.